Jim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Beta sir, hello to you and yours. Welcome hello. to this tree. Habibis. Habibis, marhaba. Tfaddal. Assalamu. Tfaddal ma'ana ya habibi. Assalamu alaikum. Habibis, welcome. It's the last stream. It's Monday, March 21st. Yes, in the 21st. year of Allah. <laughs> in the year of Allah, 2022. Well, you know, um, I'm Jack Kobe. Yesterday We're was the Habibi the... Bros. What's that, Jay? I was saying yesterday was the Persian New Year. Oh, yes. Noruz Mubarak. Noruz Mubarak all you, to all. All you Persian all, Habibis out there. All the unibrows out there. As always, if you want to get more exclusive content from us, go ahead and hit us up on our locals channel or page or community. Either way, habibibros.locals.com is in the link of the description of this video below. And you can follow me on Twitter. It's actually on the screen and right in front of you. Esra J Hashmi. You, you can, can follow, follow me Jay. at, at Aslikin. It's still the greatest twitter handle of all time and this is the list so we're very excited that we're uh we're back hope did you have a good weekend jay i did i did i mean persians really know how to to party i'm not gonna lie i mean they when do. it's the persian new year they bring a feast out for you there's a lot of food that's good and good. i didn't mean to post that post on twitter i mean on on instagram uh, i didn't want you to find out that way when you saw me and that other guy making out in underneath oh. the waterfall. <laughs> Jay, it's okay. You know, I'll, Sorry I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a hall pass on that one. Thank you very much. Well, he was Asian, so. Yeah, that's true too. You can't, you can't turn down an Asian. So Habibis, uh, we are going to rank the top 10 worst takes on Twitter. The way the list works it all started in 2019, just to give you a brief rundown. And it all started with George Conway when he dunked on his wife, Kellyanne Conway. And that's how the list began, really. Basically dunking on her for, what was it, Jay? Do you remember? You remember the tweet? Oh, yeah, it was during the first mm -hmm. impeachment saga for Trump. And she tweeted something along the lines of, of Joe Biden messing up or doing some, one of his gaffes. And, yeah. and Kellyanne Conway tweeted, we need Ukraine's help to beat this guy. And George Conway quote tweeted her saying, your boss apparently thought so. And thus begun the, you know, basically the jihad of taking everyone's phones to, because they don't deserve it anymore. Yeah, don't. And honestly, I mean, the worst thing to do, unless it's your wife dunking on you, the, the, the marital, you know, disagreements and stuff should be offline. The only person who's allowed to dunk on their husband or wife is M on you. That's it. Yes, my wife is is the only spouse who's allowed to dunk on me, um, and she dunks on me repeatedly. So, Habibis, dunk, so, not dump on. Wait, what? Dunk, not dump on. What did I say? You said dump on. Well, that's only at night on on my chest, so... We're hearing some fetishes Gotta tonight coming out. Let's hear it. <laughs> well, you gotta you gotta get it all out before Ramadan hits, too. That's true. We gotta get it all out. So uh we're gonna start off from number 10. Uh obviously Habibis uh chime in. We will definitely read your, through your comments. The last couple of weeks have been a little less um they've been a little quick. So we're gonna try to we'll try to speed through these, but at least we'll try to take some of your uh comments in the chat. So uh let's start with number 10 10 we got is that is that nilly 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 kaplan nilly? that is nilly 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 what kind of nilly. name is nilly nilly N i don't know nilly vanilly nilly kaplan is it mirth 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 yeah scroll down let's 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 take a look at that tweet shall we she says, who can remember when people smoked in restaurants? The air will be like that for the kids and educators when schools open without masks next week. 
if one person is unmasked, they are the smoker. Is one person's desire more important than the safety of the air everyone breathes? <laughs> what is this person even on about? This because... is an MD PhD, by the way, Jay. Supposedly the top educated. Please. We had fucking top educated people thinking that it was smart to lock down everything and mask kids. He, she still thinks it's smart to mask kids for eight hours a day. I mean, you feeling safe isn't worth ruining these kids' lives and their fucking futures and shit. And well, yeah, and also, I mean, if you're a doctor in two with two different degrees that take fucking years and tons of sacrifice, how can you possibly be so fucking stupid as right. to make this tweet an argument? And in fact, I'm starting to question the validity of these institutions that let someone like Nilly Kaplan Mirth obtain a, an MD and PhD and then likening basically cigarette smoke, which is full of carcinogens, to just natural air. And we all know how masks don't work. They don't. They don't. And now we can actually say these things. Before, we would be taken down of YouTube, Twitch, everything like that in seconds. And now what? it's totally normal to just go out there and say, yeah, they don't work. And they're, and uh, everyone's just like, la da 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 We never said it. La-da-da-da-da. We, we ruined your lives. La-da-da-da-da. What the fuck was that, Jay? La, da, 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 da. That, that's gonna that's gonna remain stuck in my head for a while. I'm probably gonna have to sample that's, that stuff that's for the BB Power Hour <laughs> intro that I'll never make. <laughs> yeah, we still have it done. I had to. Yeah, we need to. We need to make a nice original one with our with our input into it. Yeah, we yeah. got we got that other one, but I think I think we can do one better. La 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 la. la. God, I fucking hate you. Number nine is Bloomberg <laughs> opinion. Now, this is actually interesting because Jay Bloomberg like amplified this tweet like crazy, not just from opinion, but from like their economics account. So let's read this real quick. Um, by the way, scroll down just a second. I want you to peep this ratio. Look at that. Oh my god, it's seven thousand beautiful retweets, and that's like quote tweets mostly. Right. So. And then they have thirteen thousand replies to only five thousand <laughs> likes. It's all right scroll up sick. let's read this all right inflation stings most if you earn less than three hundred thousand dollars a year <laughs> here's how the deal one <laughs> take the bus two don't buy in bulk we all are told to buy in bulk because you save more money doing that what uh -huh. try lentils instead of meat <laughs> nobody said this would be fun that that's not something <laughs> to deal with Oh my God, Jay! That's not how you deal with it. And but the the best thing about this is that they also, they, I think they retweeted it, uh, like you said, out of their economics one in a different way as well. Yeah. And I think they even managed to make it sound even more tone deaf than this one when they were going with it. But the 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 thing that gets me when <laughs> if you earn less than three thousand three hundred thousand, it's going to suck for you. It's like fuck. That's that's like ninety nine percent of the the population. I think what is it now? It's like if it's uh, you're in the top one percent if you're making four hundred thousand and above, you're in the top one mm -hmm. percent. So basically, they're talking about like ninety ninety eight percent of America is what they're talking about. So Ernie decided to basically barge his way in here. And oh, and Jay's wearing the urn shirt. Oh, what's up, buddy? All right. All it's right. the it's the caliphate urn shirt. Sheikh. Caliphate urn shirt. Sheikh yeah, urn. The full screen, don't you? Oh yeah, there we go. Sheikh urn. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's so cute. What you doing, bud? What you doing? He knew. He knew you were streaming. He knew. He knew what was going on. He knew. What you doing? He, he just, knew it. He went on a long walk today too, like two and a half miles, which is like a fucking marathon to him. Did he? Did he lose? Did he lose a little bit more weight? I think so. He looks it. He looks great. Yeah, he's still doing doing pretty well. Do you want? Do you want to go in your spot, bud? 
Okay, let me stop. Okay. Okay. We'll just oh, he's with his what? loaf. Uh, What's that? The loaf, the loaf rolled over, and I thought it was Ern just rolling oh. off of the fucking thing. Like, he just went, oh. Yeah, let's, let's get that loaf back. On. There he is. He probably wants a C O O K I E. Ernie? What's the matter? He wants to help. You know what he started doing recently is um, he has this uh, bully stick, which is basically. Um, do you know what that is, Jay? Do you know what a bully stick is? I have no idea. Um, you you want to like open up your shared screen and 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 Google what what's in a bully stick? Do that right now while I get it for him. <laughs> Bully stick. So what is what is this bully stick? Bully sticks are tasty single ingredient treats, uh, only made from high protein beef muscle. Bully sticks are ideal for your dog. Beef is a complete source of amino acids, which supports your dog's muscles, brain, skin, and coat. Wait, so, so that's what this that is. Again, Jay? So it's it's beef muscle. Oh, okay. I thought it was actual bull penis. No, no. That's sure? that's what we that's what we eat as aphrodisiacs before we sixty nine. He's giving me a guilty look. What do you want, Ernie? You want to be on this? I think he wants to be less than blue checks. He wants. That's what I think he wants to be doing as that's well. What I think so, he wants to do. As we Sorry, move on, he's heard, we were derailing the conversation here because Ernie wanted to get in on this. Um, but can you really blame him? Uh, not at all. I I can't. Yeah, he's he's doing he's doing the thing. Um, Sarah Higdon says it's bull testicles. It is. Oh, and I believe it. Also, Sarah says, Siraj, how's the paper cut? All right, it's gotten much better. Okay. Oh, right? you should. You, oh man, I will. It's... I, look, look, it's got it's gotten much better in two days. Okay, I I cut my. I cut the tip off, tip of my thumb. Just the tip. Cut it off. Just the tip. Whilst cooking. Cut whilst? Whilst. Whilst? Whilst. Whilst or while? Whilst. While, whilst? Whilst. While, while list. While list, yes. Uh, so uh, it's definitely better. Um, but thank you. Alhamdulillah. No, it was it was a it was a bad cut. Like he was, was uh, he was making hit. also buco, he was making also buco from scratch. That's right. Yeah, dicing the the vegetables, uh, you know, julienne, and then to little little cube dices to to get ready for the the jus that you that you make uh, to go on top of the the um, uh, risotto after you put the right. lamb shank and you braise it for four hours. Right, just the tip. That's exactly what he was he was cooking. Yeah, so I sliced off just the tip. Alhamdulillah. Of my penis. Alhamdulillah. Okay, let's get back at it, Habibis. We are at number eight. Let's get to it. Where is it? <laughs> we have Sports Center. Sports Center. Sports Center tweets out Penn's Leah Thomas won the 500 yard freestyle at the NCAA Women's Swimming and Diving Championships. Thomas becomes the first known transgender athlete to win an NCAA Division I championship in any sport. Full story from Katie Barnes. Jay, I just have to say, um, and look at that ratio too. Holy shit. It's it's such a good ratio. Um, it's not the nicest ratio we've seen, but it's certainly a ratio. Now, is there's anything wrong particular with this tweet? Uh, not specifically is nothing l more wrong with this tweet than what we've seen other people tweet about Leah Thomas and praising her sports center just happens to have the biggest platform. And so normalizing this shit is why it's less worthy because one J for basically it takes a man to get people to care about women's sports. 
And two, sure. it completely erases women out of women's sports, turning it into <clears throat> men's sports, right? Absolutely. And what's really amazing is, look, the patriarchy plays for the long game, all right? So right. we are putting balls into women's spaces and making mm -hmm. it making it seem like if you are against that, you are the misogynistic bigot transphobe, not the other way around. I mean, it's just it's the most amazing. It's it's pure art. It's pure art. But yeah, what I would I would do like if I was Sports Center and any of these other places, there would have to be a huge disclaimer. Everywhere right. where Leah Thomas Thomas goes, she won. Yeah, because she had the balls. Literally, Hastrix balls. Trevor Ramsey says, "Is this actually live?" Yes, it is live. Welcome. It to is the stream, live. Baby. We are very this, live right This now. is your first Habibi stream. Trust us. Snoop Dogg doesn't even know what to expect when he sees this. That is true. We do have video of that. Um, so there are a few things about Leah Thomas, obviously. And this comes into an interesting um, territory here, Jay, because um, I, I, I recognize there's some cognitive dissonance on my end because I'm not entirely sure what to believe. And I know it's a, you know, it's a tough, complex uh issue and there are not many real solutions um because wait hold up royal starfox says had to come to j stream because siraj's rumble died how is that possible uh oh it went out no i'm seeing it's still going i think it's still mm -hmm. going no the rumble's still going you do you, does he mean your twitch died maybe I have no idea. Anyways, who gives it? I, it doesn't matter. We're 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 live and we're still doing the damn thing. So, um, but, uh, he said it it just acted like it ended, but it's it's probably back. I think no, it's still still going on. Anyways, um, here here the here's the thing. So Leah Thomas went through puberty as a man, as a as mm -hmm. a male, fully developed muscle mass as a man, full you know the frame everything. Inshallah, soon, photos. soon you you've, will, you've you will go photos. through that too. You've seen the photos. Everyone's seen the photos of Leah Thomas standing next to the the other three swimmers, the ones mm -hmm. who should have been first, second, and third, but instead were basically second, third, and I guess fourth or something like that. Now, that comes to an interesting territory. Uh, is, it, is there basically going to be like no allowance of – uh trans women in women's sports at all or are you going to basically say okay it's okay for uh girls to transition to or, or for uh, for boys to transition to girls and girls to transition to boys pre-puberty and that's when we reach like the child abuse argument of are they basically being coerced into transitioning so it's it, it's yeah, it's 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 a big debate for sure. And but I still think I think it's a it should be a hard no when they pass purity and they have mm -hmm. this huge advantage. It should be a hard no because it's not women's sports anymore. It really isn't. This right. is not this is not this should not be considered women's sport. Right. Pretty soon so. if if you're gonna watch uh Tom Brady, instead of going to retirement, do a sex change so you can go play with the uh, what are they called? The ones that play in the bikinis? Oh, the lingerie ones? Yeah, the lingerie lingerie uh, league. The lingerie league. That's what he's going to be doing next. Yo, but he did that chiseled jaw, man. I think he'd make a he pretty, he, he, he'd make a hot woman. Oh, you pretty for sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's already go. a beautiful man. I mean, yeah. Can, I mean, I probably wouldn't say no even even though he's a man. Let's go to number seven. We got Michael J. Stern. Michael J. Stern. Now here is all right. Let's just let's just look at the 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 full context of the tweet. Okay. So the screenshot is from some I don't know who this Twitter account is, but she writes Tornado hits Florida home of Don't Say Gay author. And then in quotes, it says, uh, Representative Joe Harding's Ocala home was among those damaged by severe weather in Central Florida Saturday. The Ocala Republican was not at home, though family was. Michael J. Stern uh, takes a screenshot of that post and says, I'm not a believer, 
but the tornado that just ripped apart the home of the author of Florida's Don't Say Gay Law is making me reconsider. Hey, Joe Harding, God thinks you're a rotten bigot and just bitch slapped you. I don't understand why this is the exit. This is like the immediate go to that a lot of these like resistance libs have. It's just like if it's about politics, they just want you to die. Right. And it's it's and a lot of people say that they want you dead. And it's true when you see how like Joy Reid, for example, when Scalise got shot, she went live mm-hmm. on air it was the first thing she did. She brought she brought his his uh, voting record up right there. Oh. Started that, started was, to be like said Joy, yeah, maybe, yeah, Joy maybe Reed, yeah. yeah, Joy, yeah, Joy Reed. Reed did that. And it's like, yeah, they want you dead. They do. They don't care if these type of things happen to you if you're if you're not politically aligned with them. And they don't care how much they have to lie. They don't care. I mean, this don't say gay. Uh, Which is a co- uh, it's a why? complete fucking myth. It's not you. Oh yeah, I can look. I'm in Florida. I say gay all the time. Literally, Jay. You, you, are the you walk a gay man. in Florida. Oh shit, they're at the door right now. Fuck. Yes, I did it. I t- we fucking got him. Uh, can't can't say gay or be gay in in Florida. And you know what's really funny when you when you ask parents and you ask people with the language that's in the bill, the actual language in the bill. Uh, like, do you do you think that? Uh, teachers should be teaching kids about sexual orientation or sex or sex or any of that kind of stuff between the ages of fucking uh, four and six. And everybody's like, fuck no. Right. Hell no. This is all, this is like groomer, groomer type shit. No, you don't want to do it. It's that, you know, you even get people like Bill Maher being like, yeah, what the fuck? Oh yeah. Now, but Bill Mars is extreme right wing wing. What are you talking about? Of yeah. course he's gonna say it. He's 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 he's, he's a based, writer. He's, based, yeah. he's he's more right than uh, Muhammad El Baghdadi. <laughs> My daddy. <laughs> My daddy. All right, let's go down to number six. We have Olga Rudenko. Olga Rudenko. All right, Rudinka. So Rudinko. Rudenko. So Rudinka. they're obviously, you know. If you have been following the news, which I'm sure many of you have been, specifically uh, with Ukraine. A week ago, two Fox News journalists. What? What were you going to do? No, I was doing, you know, that uh, that old vine. It's like, about a week ago. Oh, my God, Jay. And then I realized what you were getting into. And then I was was like, oh. Didn't even read the fucking tweet. Sorry. So, two, uh, two members of Fox News' crew were killed whilst covering the Ukrainian war, and one of them was injured. So, this is a photo of Oksana. I'm sorry, uh, Alexandra uh, Kushyanova, a producer of Fox News, and kind of like. She had like basically been a guide for the Fox News crew. Right. So Olga tweets out, "This is the Ukrainian member of the Fox News crew. She was killed today alongside their cameraman." Fox News doesn't even mention it her in their report, and then says photo published by Oksana Romanyuk of the Institute of Mass Information. So I don't know. It, I don't know if you've seen sort of the response from Trey Yanks, who's uh, one of the correspondents with Fox News, a mm-hmm. good guy too. Who I've uh, I'm, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting, but I've had to, I've luckily been able to interact with him um, and exchange messages. And obviously, you know, I wish him well. I hope he stays safe, just like I hope every journalist out there stays safe. But I don't know. Basically, he responded to this tweet, and I don't have it in front of me, but it was along the lines of something like saying there we, we didn't mention her in the report because they're trying to confirm and inform next of kin out of respect for the dearly departed you know out of, out of respect for their loved ones it wasn't like some grand conspiracy that they weren't trying they were trying to like cover it up this right is like this is like the the type of fucking you know brain worms that people on the left have with this thinking that everything that that people do 
they're so cynical and that they think everything everyone does is so evil it just it it it, it truly rids them of their humanity it's so sad it really does and they were they were fast and quick to jump on uh these deaths and it was very very sick i mean we saw that new yorker the the writer the new yorker writer and cnn contributor who went right up there saying like oh it's so sad that the guy who works for the propaganda agent for putin died and then she went and says is she then she did another tweet stating like it's a hard job being a journalist and what they're doing and stuff, but they had to get these. Yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be talking about, we're going (laughs) to stay tuned to BBs because we got, we got some, some stuff on that. So let's get into the top five right here. Number five, we have Peter Schiff, Peter Schiff, who after uh, Vladimir Zelensky addressed Congress, Congress uh, basically asking for a no fly zone and asking for more weapons. This is what Peter Schiff said. He said, I understand times are hard, but doesn't the president of the Ukraine own a suit? I don't have much respect for current members of the U.S. Congress either, but I still wouldn't address them wearing a T-shirt. I wouldn't want to disrespect the institution or the United States. My dude, he has he's in a fucking war zone. Where does he get the time to put on a fucking suit? Hey. Have you not watched any James Bond movies? The very first James <laughs> Bond movie I've ever watched with Pierce Prosten, like coming down in a in a parachute, in a parachute coming down, and then straight to skiing, all in a suit. While and then he got into a tank and drove that tank throughout the I think the the Russian city in a suit. Are you talking about? You're obviously talking about uh, that was in Moscow, and that was. I think, or no, no, St. Petersburg. I think it was St. Petersburg, and it was Golden Eye, was it not? I think it was Golden Eye. Let's look. That he was, up. He was wearing that suit the whole time. Man, and like if if I had to rank the the best James Bonds out there, like Pierce Brosnan would be number one for me. Yeah, it was it was St. Petersburg, I believe, followed by um, the blonde guy now, Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig, who's no, who's just wrapped up. Um, sure. Except for this last one. This last one was pretty shitty, but I mean, he's still a good one. And I mean, yeah, I, uh, I don't know what I was going to say. I love Golden Eye. Golden Eye, the video game, is the best thing that ever happened to me. Um, none will be like it. And that's Pink why Golden Eye to me is the best. Pink Eye was the best thing to happen to you? Oh no! The pink eye is definitely the best thing that ever happened to me. But golden eye is even better. Right. Number four, Randy Bryce tweets at Iron Stash. He already blocked me, but look at this. He's responding obviously to the Fox News reporter Benjamin Hall <laughs> being injured, um, where the two other Fox News crew were killed, uh, Alexandra and Pierre. I, I, they only referred to the cameraman Pierre as Pierre. I don't think they pr- could pronounce his last name. I certainly can't pronounce his last name because I don't know it. But Randy Bryce Andrew. tweets out, friendly fire, hope he's okay. Go fuck yourself, buddy. Seriously. Seriously. Absolute, just garbage. These people are just absolute garbage. I am stash. Dude, you look like a fucking 40-year-old pedophile. Like, this is the type of person you see out in, in um, parks. And you call the police over for sure. Like when when <laughs> when mothers see this type of person walking by, they hold their kids a little bit tighter. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at him. That's like yeah. the stereotypical pedo look right there. This guy is 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 about to get catfished and exposed for for trying true. yeah for trying for trying to chat up with a twelve year old. Mark my words, Habibis. All right, let's go to number three. We got Charles. Is it Jackoff? I think it's Jackoff. It's Jack Jack Jackoff. Jackoff. Jack, we'll go. With, we'll go with Charles Jackoff, who tweets out my tweet about a Fox News Journal was idiotic and stupid. I apologize. That's not really obviously the part that we're listing, but this is what we are listing. He says, "I wrote a Fox News Journal was injured near Kiev. If it was the Russians, was it friendly fire?" While Fox's neo, oh, here, now we're getting back to the to the list worthy part. 
actually all of it's list worthy fuck it My yeah tweet about the fox news <laughs> journal was idiotic and stupid i apologize i wrote a fox news journal was injured near kiev if it was the russians was it friendly fire while fox is it neo-fascist propaganda that's the host not reporters i was an asshole eh, it's all less worthy it really it is it's all it's all this it's all should be chucked up in there yeah people are ghoulish they want you to die they're awful and it continues now, uh, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, uh, Clarence Thomas was uh, hospitalized with flu-like symptoms. Um, I am hearing that he's recovering, but of course, when you're that old and you're hospitalized with flu-like symptoms, obviously nothing's mm-hmm. bad in that. And we obviously wish Clarence okay. Thomas oh. a speedy recovery, just like we will wish anyone within the Supreme Court, regardless of what their you know their political leanings are. Um, well, we, Except for Saltmeyer, I mean, no, all of them. <laughs> we wish all of them very much well. <laughs> Shut that fucking bitch. So, Ellen Hopkins tweets out, trying to maintain the high road. Don't want him to die, but wouldn't mind if his health forced him into retirement. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, hospitalized with infection. High Court says, "It's just amazing. Again. How? Who? Who is Ellen Hopkins?" I don't know. I have no fucking clue. I bet but she's Jay, white. Yeah, obviously. Jay, what's wild about that tweet is it and you've seen the you've seen the show Veep, right? Yeah. Okay, so Emily and I have been rewatching Veep and we've gone we're back we're like in the second season again. We only started again this past weekend. So the show came out in 2012. It is insane insane how many parallels there are between obviously Julia Lewis Dreyfus's character and Kamala Harris. But what's even more insane is the stereotypes of every single character in that show. Like right. basically the ghoulish, like, you know, cold blooded DC, you know, uh, social climbing, you know, career ass kisser. Like that is every, almost every single person, uh, not everyone, but a good chunk of people who work in DC. And mm-hmm. Ellen Hopkins is basically like the female version of it. So. <laughs> but before we get to our number, oh yeah, Jay. That you, but I swear to God, Jay, yeah. go back and watch. Please go back and watch V. I, I've I, never I, watched it. I have to. I have to actually what? go ahead and watch it. I've never watched. I've never watched V. Oh my I've god. I've never watched. Yeah. I'm. I'm just now gonna go and watch the new uh, new season of uh, Curb. But yeah, I've never watched V. I've never watched. It's always sunny. Um, and people are like, you have to watch that show too. I've never seen it. But the one thing I really like about this tweet is she's like, I'm trying to maintain the high road. When the fuck have these people ever been on the fucking high road? When? When they were wishing that Trump would die every other fucking day? When they were totally okay lying about Kavanaugh? When they were okay in in trying to smear uh, Barrett as being a bad mother? When the fuck did these pieces of fucking shit ever go on the high road? Like, she deserves to be on the fucking list just for that, trying to maintain the high road bitch i will show you high i will show you high like i show dan's mom jay uh, can you hear me i can it looks like my camera went out for some reason <laughs> we're getting to figure it out <laughs> no it did it did go out. it's just stuck hello okay. hello ahmed hello siraj it's doing that jay have you tried to turn off and turn on your your computer? Computer. Let's try that. <laughs> yeah, turn it off now. <laughs> no, turn I'm off playing. the whole thing right now. Don't Actually, don't, don't turn it off now. Just turn it off. Turn it back on. All right. Okay. Fuzzy. Fuzzy. Is it J J. Yeah, I've watched Veep. Two minutes later, I've never watched Veep. Yeah, I I didn't know if he. Was asking about Veep or was another show like um, uh, what's the other show called? The other show about the White House. What is that one called? Oh, you're back uh, on House of Cards. No, not House of Cards. The one before that. West old, Wing. old West Wing. There it is. Yeah. Thank you. Veep is like the parody, but oh, it's, yeah. no, Veep is accurate. Veep is accurate. It's, it's very accurate. accurate. It's very accurate. It's essentially accurate. It's even more insane how accurate it is now that Kamala Harris is actually vice president. I encourage everyone who is watching right now, 
go if you're able to go back and watch at least a few episodes of Veep. It is scary how many parallels there are between Kamala Harris and Julie Lewis Dreyfus's uh, Selena Meyer. It's it's insane. It's it's absolutely insane. Um, okay. Now, before we get to our number one, we got uh, a couple of honorable mentions. So the first one is the New York Post. The New York Post tweets out, dressing like a lesbian is the sexy and powerful new fashion trend. <laughs> Look at that ratio of one. It's 70,000 uh, retweets. And this, like, is not how, this is not how lesbians look. They don't look like this. I had I had a tweet underneath it to show like what really lesbians look like. And I forgot what I searched for it because I'm not gonna search for it here. Knowing my search history, it might come out <laughs> something else. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh but I can I can find I can find the tweet. No, no, let's let's look at that search history. Huh? Let's, let's, no. let's look at that. No, 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 no. I don't want to <laughs> it's gonna show like can dogs be lesbians? <laughs> Are there lesbian elephants? Oh, here it is. What what are we looking at, Jay? What, what that's, <laughs> that's Jay, that's my ass in the air. I know. I'm gonna go to it. Oh, here. what lesbians what lesbian wear really looks like. <laughs> that's so accurate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this that's is how you this know is, I'm a lesbian. That's, that's, that's true lesbian wear. Not this. It's like what women haven't been wearing pantsuits before. What the fuck? Who the fuck? And it's all pantsuits. Women it's have been pants. wearing pantsuits. They've been wearing them. A day so, is just confirmed. Not just lesbians. Hillary Clinton confirmed lesbian, Jay. I knew it. Knew it all along. Absolutely. And Huma Abedin probably was her lover. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. All right. Drea Michelle. She's another top honorable mention. And this is something, once you read it, you will understand why it deserves to be on the list. Because <laughs> very few people incriminate themselves on Twitter. Drea Michelle managed to do that by tweeting, hey, I got a question for my little scamming scammers. LOL, if you get an SBA loan, Small Business Administration loan, and it's under a business name, what are the steps to paying it back? And if it is under the business name and you go into default, does it go under your personal credit? <laughs> Absolutely insane. I mean, she deserves to be on the list for, for publicly putting this stuff out. This is the type of question you put on Reddit. As like anonymous or some shit for somebody yeah. else to answer. You don't do like, this for yourself. What the hell yeah, did you like, think was going to happen? I don't know and if there's a subreddit. Jay, the Jay, I don't know if there's a subreddit for like, you know how there's a subreddit like AITA, am I the asshole? Is it like, is there another one? Like, am I going to jail if I, is there if a I subreddit tweet, for that? If I put it out and tweet like this? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, our last, uh, uh, our last top honorable mention goes to Princeton University. Now scroll up, Jay. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. I need to click on that link that sends a fence, okay? Because I, people need to watch this video. Okay? You got the sound on? No. No, you, you, I don't. All right, here. Go ahead Hold and on. get that sound going. Do you, do you need, yeah, just go ahead and share it. You need the sound on because every bit of it, of this video um I'm so ready. Hello, class of 2022. I'm Sarah. I'm Julia. And I'm Christian. We are class day coaches, and we're excited to finally announce our keynote speaker. This year's speaker is undoubtedly among a small handful of leaders who've had the largest global impact over the past few years. While too much of our college experience was altered by the pandemic, his contributions to public health policy have allowed us to now be approaching an in-person graduation and class day after a much more normal senior year. This year's class oh, day is Dr. Anthony Fauci. No fucking way. Infectious diseases 
this guy the, that has helped us make it in, to be in person. The same guy who was like, oh, if it goes up even a little bit, we have to go back to masking and lockdowns. Piece of shit. In the nation's service and the service of humanity. Yeah, fuck Princeton, you. Princeton, Princeton is is like the the United States asshole. A bunch of shit just comes out of it. I can't wait to celebrate with you all. Hello, class of 2020. All right, so that's the video right there, and you can all and you can all appreciate how fucking garbage that tweet is. Absolute fucking garbage. Yeah. Um, Captain Free Jack says this better not be a vac- the vaccine song. That unfortunately, it's much worse. Frostbite says his decades of public health service. Oh, you mean how he fucked up the AIDS crisis and COVID? Absolutely. Baby says this crew makes me regret my higher education. <laughs> <laughs> and then Frostbite oh, says that was worse than the Vax song. And Blake By says I'd rather resign than listen to Fauci give a graduation speech, which means we are all going to chip in and pay for Blake's trip to Princeton's commencement so he can watch Dr. Anthony Fauci. We'll just we'll just do a, do a uh, Habibi movie night in on our Discord, and instead of watching a movie, yeah, it's the it's the Fauci speech. Yeah, Daniel Collins says Princeton is the Walmart of Ivy League schools, <laughs> and ZD Willie says fuck the Ivy League. I mean, at this point, I've only seen dumb people emerge from Ivy League, so they're not they're not sending their best they really are they really are not they're so not jay before we get to our number one tweet mm-hmm. um i want you to scroll down i'm not going to share it yet but can you guess who it might be take a guess just take a guess i mean uh jennifer rubin had some doozies but we're not mm-hmm. going to we're not going to put her up on on the list and take somebody else's space because she's always in she's her hearts queen. She's the queen. She's number one She's always. So it's not going to be. Exactly. It's not going to be Jennifer Rubin. Um, who, is it uh, Adam? Adam Lickfingers? No, he's been. He's been really, really bad. The past, like he's beyond the list almost now. He's getting. He? Yeah, he's getting. Well, he's obviously beyond saving. So, Who's well, let's go. Let's go see. So let's go see. Let's see it. Our number one, the worst tweet of the week goes to Susan oh. Gloucester. I, I brought her up. I didn't know who you she brought was. brought her up earlier. All right. So John Roberts tweets out horrible news to report. Fox cameraman Pierre Zakruski was killed in the same attack that wounded correspondent Benjamin Hall. I worked with Pierre many times around the world. He was an absolute treasure, sending our most heartfelt prayers to Pierre's wife and family. Susan Glosser, who is a writer for The New Yorker, tweets out, what a tragedy. A cameraman died covering the war for TV network that airs a pro-Putin propagandist as its top-rated primetime host. I mean, shit, Jay, that's where she went. That was the first thought that came to mind. And Keith, I don't know if Keith Olman dunked on this, but there were a lot of people like, hey, Susan, what the fuck? Well, not that media reporter from Washington Post. She she uh, retweeted it saying that this was like a, a, a suck, a, how do you say, a succulent? A succulent Sucky uh, that's a, a plant, Jay. Suck, suck my dick. Um, <laughs> no, it was a like a succulent explanation. I forgot how she said it, but it was that fucking Washington Post media reporter who's also like all of these people are just fucking garbage. Like you, right. you see them, you hear them speak. She's a CNN contributor. This happened. She tweeted this out, and like thirty seconds later, she was doing a spot on CNN uh, and shit and. Nobody called her out on it. Brian Stelter didn't call her out on it. Nobody on CNN called her out on it on this type of bullshit. But it's just time and time again. These guys, these uh, Glasser and all these other fuckers are part of the group, the elite journalist group. They don't go after each other. They don't. You don't see people like till now. Unless, unless of course, Jay, unless they work for Fox News. Right. And honestly, have we seen any big stories come out of CNN about Zucker and then how he was like completely, utterly, ethically fucking uh, using CNN to to push his political party and political buddy? I mean, I don't know, man. everybody's you seen that many stories. Not yet. Not yet. Not from CNN. That's for sure. So this stupid bitch gets away with this shit as well. 
So there you have it. Susan Glosser is number one uh, for the list this week. Before we go, though. Um, Good, number one. Frostbite says, oh, by the way, how's the petition to get Jen Rubin to ratio Siraj coming along? Actually, um, pretty decently well. Let me go ahead and show you. Uh, we got Jennifer Rubin right here. Uh, so this was started by uh, Damien Toll. Damien Toll, who is the biggest Brooklyn Lib dad, uh, Brooklyn Lib Mayo dad that has Mayo. ever existed in the uh, Habibi community, uh, started this change.org petition to get Jennifer Rubin to ratio Siraj Hashmi, i.e. me. So if you want to get Jennifer Rubin to simply respond to a tweet that says ratio, uh, respond to one of my tweets with the word ratio, just go ahead and sign the petition because um, I'll delete my I'll delete my Twitter account if she does that. Hell yeah. I'll do it. I'll delete it. I will I will mother of all bombs that shit. Oh, also, I gotta say it. that is a remarkable photo of our queen right there. No, it is absolutely. I mean, look how look how I mean, of course. It's Mouth way open, too right? big for for us to even um, be able to to enjoy, but yeah. it's a good it's a good wide girth, you can fit it. Yeah, yeah, it's good, not bad. Royal Starfax says, "I don't trust any colleges at the moment." Referring to Princeton, obviously, because Princeton is a piece of shit. Janice uh -huh. says, "Everyone is here." I was so lonely on Rumble. Don't worry, Habibis, I'm working on it. Okay. I'm, oh yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working. Yes. On it. Yes, yes, yes. Faye Beebe says, I approve of this choice. Well deserved for the number one spot. That's that's for Susan Glosser. Not even uh, the worst New Yorker put out. And Frostbite says, hi, yeah, I submitted an Adam Lickfinger's tweet to Ben, but I said, not sure he can be saved, though. And so it's yeah, I don't, at this point. I don't think he's going to be able to get get saved. Yeah. I think he's he's a little bit beyond. He's a very... Especially, especially these these last few things he's been he's been pushing that we're going yeah. to be talking about HPH. Yeah, Teddy Sheckler says they don't tell you of the physical tolls of selling your soul. This is essentially one hundred percent true. Absolutely. And um, I think uh, so. We got we got a big week this week. We got two Habibi mm -hmm. Power Hours. Um, Guest may join us. We're still in the works here. If not, you'll still get a premium episode from us. That will actually be, and we're working on something here. So stay tuned, of course, to these. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to try to make it work. We're going to try to make it work. Um, if you really want to support us, go ahead and uh, join us on our locals community, habibibros.locals.com. Obviously, hit that like and subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter for any updates. You can also follow our Habibi Bros look, uh, Twitter. That's mm -hmm. at Habibi underscore bros. And then, of course, the list is at list comes for all for all list nominations. Special shout out, obviously, to Ben Morrissey and Spencer Sachs for their uh, diligent work. Um, and they both should be fired uh, time and time again. But, Jay, thank you, sir. Thank you for your joining me on the stream and providing a good internet connection so that I only go out of focus <laughs> once, maybe twice, or have my camera crap out on me. Uh, at, at least the list still gets streamed. Inshallah. Inshallah. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so Habibis, we will see you Wednesday night on Habibi Power Hour. That's 9 p.m. East on Rumble. Obviously, you can go catch us on any other platform as well. But for the, all intents and purposes, go check us out on Rumble. For the BB Bros, I'm Siraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. And this is Earn. Pass the F out. I'll give Chef him a nice, nice F for you. There you go, buddy. There you go. People wonder if he's actually alive. Yeah, he's alive. He's just very, very tired. So, love you, BBs. Have a good night. We'll see you on Wednesday. Peace out.